what's going on people so today i'm gonna show you how to clean your carburetor i put the fuel pump in this engine about i don't know three months ago i don't remember and uh, and it was running beautiful i used it so much right after that maybe a 30 times i don't know a lot especially now that i like to uh, you know do some free diving so it's time for me to uh, do some carburetor cleaning and i'm gonna replace uh, these tanks down here they're they're getting cracked so i'm gonna show you hello this is carlos with cp marine and the small boat repair channel recommend to get the side panels of the engine which is you know very easy there are one two three four five six bolts in this engine and, it, and it'll make your job a lot more easy see? now you can see the carburetors they're gonna come out very easy there you go okay so what i want to show you is that this carburetor uh, four of them, they are exactly the same. As you can see they are made of plastic. And look what happened here in the tank, down here. I don't know if you can really see it, but there are cracks all over. I don't think they are leaking yet, but I'm sure they're gonna start leaking. And it happens very often. So, you know, look at your carburetors when you're doing it. And you can order these online. They're, they're very cheap, like $10 each one or something like that. So another thing that I want to show here is once you got your carburetors out, make sure these right here, you know, the throttle, the butterflies in the throttle are all the way closed, right? Sometimes it, one of them can stay open a little bit and it causes the, 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 the engine, you know, to, to run very rough. So make sure all four are closed at the same time and open at the same exact time. So I got it open now, and the good thing about this carburetor, which I like a lot, is you can reuse the the gaskets. Unless it's super bad or broken, you can reuse this one. This one here too, which is one of those here. So another thing about this carburetor, which is cool, you can you don't have to really dismount it to you know to give it a, a quick cleaning. Because this bolt here, which is the drainer for the carburetor, for the tank, and also can clean if you if you have one of those uh, carburetor cleaners, you can clean the jet from here. You see, the jet is down here. if you can see it but it's down there i gotta remove it and transfer it to the new container right here the new container is not gonna bring this the jet so you gotta transfer it that's a high um, rpm jet i grab a, a long skinny screwdriver that head and get the jet off. Wanna see how dirty it was? It's actually pretty clean, I'm surprised. It's always good to clean it anyway, you know. 
once in a while, depending on how much you drive the boat. Like I say, I drive this boat a lot. And uh, sometimes like three times a week, come in more. So I try to keep it clean the most I can. And also remember to put good gasoline, Rec 90 gasoline is why I recommend for this. Because if you buy the other one, you're gonna let it sit in here and you're gonna turn the gasoline in water and then you're gonna have a problem. A problem in your boat and you're not gonna know what it is and it's actually the gasoline that you put in there. So Rec 90, okay? I got everything transferred and I'm on the tank and I'll leave it like this and I'm gonna check all this area so, you know always look at the gaskets see how they look I replaced this gasket maybe a year ago they were still in great condition so I'm gonna you know clean with the carburetor clean cleaner all these holes every hole that you see pretty much clean inspect this one here very it's in great condition still like about this carburetor is you don't really have to buy parts uh, to do a maintenance on this unless it's something is broken like like the, the tank here it's broken and cracked I don't really have to replace it You don't want to over tight this because the gasket is a is a um, a rubber gasket, and if you over tight it, it's gonna expand too much. You just tight but nothing crazy. So we got this one. I'm gonna screw it a bit. It's in perfect condition. It's not necessary to replace this. You know, inspect everything, and if it's good, just put it back. trick that I want to show you is this gasket here you can put grease you can grease the gasket you know not too much obviously nothing crazy and you can just put it where it's supposed to go and you won't you won't move don't put any silicone or or anything just a little bit of grease and this will do the job perfectly 
Okay, so you got your carburetors clean now and you're ready to be installed. Now we gotta adjust this. This is the fuel mix bowl. See, all of them has it. So, what I recommend is go all the way in, close it all the way, and then open it three turns and a half. So we're gonna go right. Three and a half. So do the same thing with the other ones. And then you can put your carburetors because if you want to do this with the carburetor on, it's going to be hard. So I put all the carburetors back. And once I was here, I had a lot of room to check the fuel pump because I rebuilt it a little bit ago. The people asked me how the diaphragms were. And if they looks in good condition, once I open it, I don't think there's going to be any problem anytime soon. Um, but remember, I didn't buy a original part. I bought an aftermarket. But I mean, for the price that I pay, I think I think it's fine. So um, I just, you know, double check all the cables here once I'm here. And that's it. I'm gonna test it, start it. And when I get a chance, I'll go to the one. I put everything back, I got it running, and it runs pretty good. What I'm gonna do next is um, put a new water separator, and uh, I think that's gonna be it. I'm just doing a regular service in my uh, boat because I use it so much. I'm very happy. You know, this is uh, an engine, doesn't take too much um, service. There's not much you can spend, you know. That's why I like it so much. And um, I don't know, see you guys uh, next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I hope this helped you out, okay? Thank you.